this is getting a little bit more complex. So these ones I would consider to be, uh, you know, very high level problems in that we have started dealing with embedded fractions and we have, you know, negative, lots of negative exponents in there. But again, if we can keep track of what is times and what is divide, it makes things a little bit easier. So that's what I'm going to do first. I'm going to put that b squared or divide by b twice in the denominator. And I'm going to do two things in this step. I'm going to also deal with this divide in the denominator. Well, this there's a couple ways I can deal with this divide in the denominator. I can put this into the numerator as times, or I can do the reciprocal and flip this fraction. So there's two ways to do it. Um, and maybe I'll show both ways. So I'm going to flip this fraction by using that divide. So I'm going to end up with 3 a squared b negative 2 a 4 b 5 so i can use that divide to flip the fraction okay an alternative and i'll do this in a different color an alternative would be do the same thing but now i'm going to take that divide and make it multiplication I didn't flip the fraction, okay, all I did was make it times, okay, so instead of times and in, divide in the denominator, I made it times. Okay, so what can I do here? Well, I can simplify this a little bit, okay, uh, how should we do it? Let's simplify inside the brackets first, and again, there's many, many, many different ways to do this, okay. But I'm going to have simplify the a's so that have more a's on the bottom. Here, this divide by b should end up in the bottom as well, so it can divide by b seven times. Okay, I can deal with the denominator still. I know that times by b twice, divide by b seven times, is going to give me divide by b five times. Here I can say figure out what's times and divide. That's times by a. The 3 is divide by 3. The a squared is under two divisions. Divide, divide by a. That really means multiply. So I'm just going to maybe highlight that. So it's going to end up as multiply on the top. Okay, so that becomes multiply on the top. And I can make the same analysis with B. This, the B5, is divide here, and I divide it again, so I have divide, divide, so that B5 really means times. So it's going to go up top in the numerator. Okay, so that came from here. And then I just simplify that out, or combine the sum of the A, so A cubed, B5, and divide by 3. So that's using that strategy of flipping that fraction. Here, instead of flipping the fraction, I put use the divide and put it divide divide and put it in times on top. So I'm just going to work out the top a five b five on the bottom three a squared b squared and then times b negative two, well that's times in the denominator, that's divide in the denominator, times and divide cancel out, so that's b to the power of zero. We can, that's just one, we can simplify power five, power two, we end up with a cubed, b five, a, that ends up being just three in the denominator, so these are the same answer. So we can do, there's various strategies we can do. Again, the main strategy is just keeping track of times and divide. Times on top, divide on bottom. So I, let's see here, we could do a few things here. Um, I'm going to just take that negative and use that negative dividing, and divide a fraction, and I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal. So I'm just going to do the reciprocal. So that's my first step. B to the power of zero is just one, and there's 
that's all to the power of negative 2. So I use that negative power to flip the fraction. Okay, so instead of dividing by this fraction, I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal. Okay, so what are some, are some things I can do here? Uh, well, I can apply this negative power onto here. I can do the power rule. So I, I'm going to do the top first. So top, 4 times 2 is 8. Divide 7 times, multiply 6 times means I have an extra divide by A. Times by B 3 times, divide by B once means I have an extra 2 multiplies on top. I'm going to apply that negative 2 here. Negative, and here I'm going to use the exponent rule. Power to power, I'm going to end up with negative 3 times negative 2, which is positive 6. Well, that, that makes sense because I have a divide. Two divides really make a positive or times. That one just stays the same. The last thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to put those two divides on top. Okay, so that's going to be 2 squared. I've got dealt with all my b's. My a's, I've got 1 divide, 6 divides. That means I have 7 divide by a's. And then this becomes 32 times b squared over a to the power of 7. There's my final answer. So these last two definitely are much more challenging. There's lots of stuff going on here. But again, if we can simplify things into times on top, divide on bottom, just keep track of what, what is multiplication, what is division, and we're just counting that, we can simplify these very complicated looking problems. So we'll go to this link. I want you to watch this video about negative exponents. Okay, if you want to, I don't know if you can scan that from the screen or not. But it's a YouTube link. Go to your notes and you can just touch on that, that link as well from the PDF file and it'll take you directly there.